Hello. Today's pin is the Pallet Justice 95. This is a pin that I received recently. And I um, also have some new ink here. This is from the Birmingham Pen Company. This is Tesla Coil. It's kind of a unique ink that I've kind of fallen in love with. So I wanted to talk about that at the same time. So the Pallet Justice uh, 95, I bought this off of Amazon. It was $238. It does have a 14 karat gold nib, so it's not too, too expensive for a 14 karat gold nib, but it also has a unique feature where you can actually select the stiffness of the nib. So you can see there, there's an H and there's an S. So when you turn it all the way to the right, this little metal piece moves back and that makes it soft. So the nib has more flex to it, giving you a greater line weight. And on the opposite end, if you move it to the left, that's the hard setting, so you have less flex. So you, ideally, in theory, you would have um, a thinner line weight. And of course, you can set this anywhere in between, right? So there's the, the nib. It says Pilot Japan there. Again, it is 14 karat. I do believe they also make a rhodium version with black and um, silver trim. There's the feed. And the material is this uh, resin and it has this ribbed um, pattern here. It's the bottom finial smooth. And a similar pattern on the cap. You have this rib texture with a smooth finial. The clip is pretty stiff. It's a screw top. Um, and here it just says, you can see, Justice 95 and Pilot Japan. And it's a medium. So it's a, a very nice, very nice pen. I'm not sure what I actually think of the, the tension adjuster feature here. I'm not sure, you know, if it's really doing what it says, but um, I'll show you a writing sample in a little bit. But it's a unique looking pen to say the least. Well, as far as the nib goes, it's unique. The, the pen itself is a pretty standard looking pen, average size. Um, so we'll see what's in the box. This is Pilot Justice. This is the inner box. This is plastic covering on the top. It's pretty simple as far as what's in here uh, no, nothing much here you have the pen and then you have the cat and you have your instructions and the palette the little material that's on the clip see it's a medium justice 14k and it also came with a converter, a Con70 converter, and one cartridge. And I'll show you the Con70. This is a, my first Con70 converter. So basically, if you're not familiar with it, all you do is just stick it in the ink and I just keep pressing until I get a good feel. It does fill up nicely. Get a nice amount of ink in there. So that's the Con 70. Very easy to use. So I guess I will compare some sizes here. It is a, a lightweight pen. Like I said, an average size pen. Not too big, not too small, not too, not too girthy. 
is this right um, so it's about the same size as the pallet uh, custom 823 and a little bit shorter there I mean a little bit taller than both the Lamy all-star and the pallet metropolitan so if you have a custom a23 it's about the same and the weight it's a fairly lightweight pen so this is fully inked uh, 27.9 not too bad I do I write with a post-it and you know, it's a little long but um, not bad and on 18.5 uncapped so fairly lightweight pen it's easy on the hands so right now I'm going to before I get to the writing sample I'll show you the ink the Tesla coil again this is Birmingham pen company and they are in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania um, I ordered three other inks and a nib from them and it took it took a minute but once I got everything I was very pleased with the quality of the, the ink they all I think all of them have some kind of sheeny to them so you do probably have to be careful with with what pen you put them in so if you can see, I don't know if you can see, you see that there's there's some blue, there's some some red. It's a kind of a dynamic ink. So I'm just gonna show you this here. And again, this is called Tesla Coil. I think they are a brother, two brothers. So that may be, it, it, took, uh, it took over a week for me to get my items. And I'm in Maryland and they're in uh, Pennsylvania. So I was expecting a, a lot sooner, but they are, I think they are just a two-man shop. So that may explain it, but it was more than worth the wait, I think. And so it goes down a nice blue. But after it sets for a while, it turns it turns red. And so I'll dip it here. This is let me dip a little bit more. Birmingham. Pen company. And it's Tesla coil. Try that L again. This is a Moon Man combination glass pen slash it comes with the nib as well. But I don't know if you can see, it is starting to turn a little red in the darker areas. So it has a little metallic. Probably not for every pen. We'll see how it works in the, in the justice. Hopefully there won't be any issues. But let me start with a writing sample so you can see how the justice writes with the Tesla coil. Then I'll give you some pros and cons of the pen. My thoughts. So again, the pen. And I have it on the on the hard. So it's a fairly it's just a regular medium line weight. So the pen is the Pilot Justice 
95, the nib, it's medium, 14 karat, um, and it has this adjustable nib tensioner, is what they call it. The ink, it's a Birmingham Pen Company, Tesla Coil, and so again, I'm on the, the hard, so there's not too much, it still flexes, but not too much, so I'll show some figure eights. You can see even on the hard, it has a pretty good line weight variation. It's no pressure. I'm going to add some pressure. It's a very, very flexy nib. So I'm going to do the same and I'm going to move it over to the saw where ideally you'll have more, more of a thick line. And that's the problem I've been having that it railroads. And it's not the ink because uh, I had a different ink in here before. So I'm going to add that, that pressure, even if I do it slow. Railroads. So, yeah, I haven't found the hard um, very useful when I you know, put down a lot of pressure. So you can actually, as I said before, you can go any way anywhere from all the way up here to all the way down. So we'll try it kind of in the middle and see how that looks. Also railroads again. Yeah, it just, it just, the more it flexes, it just doesn't want to keep up, but so I found it mo most useful in just the, on the hard setting, on the stiff setting. Will really have any issues if I do it slow? See if I speed it up. And if I press really, really hard, it wants to railroad. And that may be something I just have to troubleshoot. But that's my biggest issue with this pen is that it does, it does do that. So I will start with some pros and cons. Um, before I go into pros and cons, it does so-so in reverse. Um, so there's that. So some pros, it's a, it's a beautiful, uh, classy pen, I think. You know, just your basic black and gold pen, converters included. And it's a, I think it's a nice converter. Holds a, a quite a bit of ink. And the idea behind it, you know, it's good. So it should be, you know, flexible, flexible pen as far as line weight. In theory, right? So you go, you can go from hard to soft, um, or. Um, rigid to flexy, right? So it's a um, it's a good what I would consider a good one pin choice, and it would be even a better one pin choice if it didn't railroad too much. And what I be, mean by one pin choice is that if you only want one pin, you know this is a good option. I also think that, you know, Lamy 2000 is also a good one pin choice. 
it would be an excellent one pin choice if it wasn't for the um, railroading. And the size, you know, size is a, it's a good middle, middle of the road. As far as its size. Uh, not girthy, not heavy. So, you know, if you have hand issues, and I talk a lot about hand issues um, because I've had, you know, family members um, that have arthritis. Um, so it's good for if you have, you know, because it weighs pretty much nothing. So if you have any weakness in your hands, it's it's good. Cons, I would say the money uh, is $238, so it's not a cheap pen. And I think, you know, depending on who you buy from, it costs more. Um, and I would say gimmicky, gimmicky question mark. Um, because, it, you know, if this actually worked like it was supposed to, um, I wouldn't have an issue. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, does it does it really deliver what it says? Um, and I would say not really. I still like the pen, but it doesn't really. Uh, I don't think it delivers what it promises. And um, I would say that of course uh, the number one con is the railroading and um, I'm going to do what I can to figure out how to remedi remedy that but yeah that's the big one and I'll um, probably look at some reviews and see if any other people are having that issue but that's the biggest one um, but for it's for the lefties I'm going to say this is a good pen for lefties because you can really, no matter what your grip is, it, it works. So if I'm writing straight on, so my grip, my left hand grip is normally like this. I had my paper slanted a little bit. And I just go like this. Right. Some people, they write like that. Not the most comfortable for me. So, you, and you have to be careful with the, the wetness there. But if your extreme grip, it still works. So it works like this. It works in this angle. See how far you can go. Even there. So it's a good, except for the wetness. And that may be the ink. But I think the pen itself is actually pretty wet as well. Um, so I would recommend this um, this pen definitely for, for a lefty. And I'll just write a little bit more for you so you can see how nicely it writes with the Tesla coil. See? Beautiful pen and ink combination. I'm going to take this down a little bit and write a little bit more. See how much flex we can get. Okay. 
and it's a it's uh not the smoothest nib in the world but it's not rough by any means uh, just just a little bit of you know a little bit of feedback So uh, yeah, that's the Pilot Justice. Um, I would recommend it if you don't expect too much as far as you know the tension adjusting feature. Um, I would kind of temper my expectations, but as an overall 14 karat gold nib pen. Irrespective of this feature, it is a nice, nice pen. And railroading and all, I do not um, um, regret this purchase, even if I just, you know, just have to hold back my, my need to flex as much as I would like to. There's probably a limit to how much you're supposed to flex this, but I just want to go all out. But not to belabor, that's the Pilot Justice and the Birmingham Pen Company Tesla Coil. Um, I hope this was helpful and informative. If you have any questions about the Justice, I think there, there are um, a few other good reviews on, on this pen. I typically um, always watch reviews before I you know, buy a pen. So there are um, a few at least out there that you um, should check out if you're interested in this pen. But other than that, um, I hope everyone's doing well and I will catch you later. Thanks.